I actually met Ryan when he was a sophomore when I was at UConn mm -hmm. and was recruiting him. And we were recruiting him. He's a good football player. He's a really good football player. He's from Maryland, so I know everybody at Maryland. Uh, it just worked out that Towson had offered him at the time, and he and his family felt really comfortable here committing. Everybody's from a different place. They have the urban dictionary, and you know, you know how country guys speak. Well, we got a deaf guy. What makes you want to compete on this level as opposed to playing in a deaf school? This is Division One. This is this is my uh, lifelong dream. Right. I've worked hard to get to this level. I know I can do it. So that's why I'm here. Um, my athleticism, my 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 skill. I think I'm doing fine. It's it's learning the system. This is a heck of a lot faster than what he's used to but there's tremendous potential and he's not afraid of it. That's how I know he'll be successful. A lot of deaf people are looking up to me. Uh, I have to make sure that I uh, succeed and do everything right. The players here are, are really nice. They, they know how to work something out with him. So last night he got up and uh, the word of the night was slow and he gave us the sign for slow and then he pointed to everybody and told them that they were all slow and for a freshman that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I know that I came here with with a chip on, his, on my shoulder. I know I have to do twice as better as anybody else. No matter what the situation is, he really is not afraid. He's not afraid about being a football player, playing against bigger, older guys, faster guys, being in a non-deaf world. He just has no fear. We got guys from everywhere. Country, city, black, white, Mex uh, Mexican. We got some guy who's got Brazilian heritage. Now we got a deaf guy. And pretty much nobody cares. Doesn't really matter where you came from, it's where we're going as a family. And he's already in. He's already part of the family. These guys, that's what teams are supposed to be.